everyone. Well, it's a new day, and contractor called, said he's coming tomorrow and going to start working on our pole barn. So hopefully this pile of lumber behind us will start dwindling down over the next few days and we can get a building stood up. My little right-hand gal here, she came up here with me tonight. We've Our pad's cut level, and I've got some dirt piled up on the lower side, and we've had a bunch of rain and snow, so it's, it's water's ponded up. So we're going to take the excavator and cut a little drainage ditch get that water to drain out and uh, hopefully at the end of this video we'll have a time lapse of this building going up so we're gonna cut a little drainage ditch get her pad drained off and let them start to work you got anything to add catch you later all right sounds good here's what we're working with if you saw the last video i come up here and spread these rocks just in the case they did show up, it would be a little man more manageable and wouldn't be in such a, such a mess with the mud. But I've got that pile of dirt out there and it sort of got me ponded up. So I'm gonna move that pile of dirt and get us a little drainage ditch cut through here and hopefully we can get this water drained out of here. All right, let's unplug the dam here, Pilot. Okay. It's gonna be so muddy. Be the camera girl. Okay. Just well, hold it still. All right, Palin and I got us a little ditch cut down through there to try to drain some of this water out. It's just a mess, but that'll at least get some of it out of here and help it dry out. But before, do what, Palin? At least it's already almost halfway down the hill. Yeah, a lot of it's went down the hill. Yeah. But we're gonna take a transit real quick. I've, this, this pad's pretty well cut level, but I'm gonna shoot the perimeter of it real quick and that way I can give these guys a height tomorrow on where I want the bottom of my metal and uh, they can set the building up from that. So I'm gonna give them one reference mark. That way they can shoot their grade off of that and then we'll roll on with it. But we're gonna set the metal up off the ground because I wanna be able to come back and backfill up against it. And that way we can get this water shedded away from it. So she and I are gonna Shoot some level here real quick, shoot some grade rather, and call it a day. All right, Palin. 
four, one and a half. Take it right over here. Set it down, set it down about right here, pal. Hold it level, plumb. All right, you're at four, so you're just a, you're about an inch high there. Scoot it back, it's piled up a little bit. Scoot it back towards you a little bit. Back towards you, that means back towards you. Scoot back a foot. Come on back. Right in there, now level your pole up. What kind of reading you getting? One. See if that'll pick it up. We're at four one pretty much. So four one and a half is what we was over on the corner. So we're pretty well good to go. We're, we're gonna go off of that front corner and uh, we'll have them hold it up about five inches off of that corner and then we make everything else work. Well it's another day. Contractor's supposed to be on his way. We spread some rock on this pad a few days ago to try to keep from them having to fight through the mud. And my little girl and I come up here last night, dug a little drainage ditch so this water could drain out of here, but it's still around the building, still just a muddy mess. So Steve lives up the road, farmer. I had him bring me an old bale of hay up here. So I'm gonna try to pick that up and try to roll this round bell around the perimeter. That way when they're working on the outside, they won't be in the mud and dragging all that mud back up in here. And two, once they start putting my siding on, that rain won't beat that mud all over the side of it. So I ain't never attempted this, but we're gonna try to roll that out. Hopefully we can find which way it was rolled, go the opposite way and try to roll it out around through here. If you can tell, I don't like mud, but I think it's gonna work. I'm just breaking it and rolling little parts out. I'm gonna spread this around the edges before you'd sink up and have mud caked your boots. But now you can get out of here and walk and actually stay halfway clean. And I just, I, I know with working on projects when you're muddy and got mud caked your boots and it's just a mess, it just ain't a good environment to work. So I figure. A little effort, we make life a little, little better on them, and hopefully they can focus on their job and do a little better job. So I'm going to spread the rest of this around the building. We'll have these boys ready to go. I know yesterday I mentioned I would uh, put you some time lapse on here, the building, the building, but this video may run a little long, so I'm going to spread this out, and then hopefully the next time we'll have a building going up and I'll, I'll get some footage of it. If you watch, we appreciate it and we'll catch you on the next one.
Well, at least you can walk around it without getting your feet muddy.